So I tried to tell y'all about Manscape a while ago, but you didn't listen. This stopped being about nuts a long time ago. Manscape is for your overall grooming experience, for your overall hygiene experience. Now we have the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. You can look all up in this little box right here that Manscape provided for me, and you'd be like, "Well, Vach, if this is supposed to be a top tier beard trimmer, where's where's all the guards, Vach? How do I adjust the length for my beard?" Let me tell you something, man. Manscape is pushing the envelope. They have an internal beard length adjustment trimmer this has 20 different notches on it for 20 different length and just look come on bro that's 20 different notches so whether you got a beard like me or a beard like law nation we got some for you easy to clean you pop this thing right off clean it up pop it right back on and it is waterproof anyway so it shouldn't be getting super duper dirty anyway inside of this kit man we have beard conditioner beard balm we have a beard shampoo and a beard oil one day my beard is gonna get thick enough to use some beard oil but you get a free gift that comes with this package you get a beard brush a beard comb and beard scissors so when you do have that big thick long beard you just want to make those small adjustments right manscape sends you some beard scissors on the house you can't beat this deal with a stick so listen man go get you one of these man use promo code vosh20 for 20 percent off and free shipping and they ship internationally listen man it's normally your balls will thank you but we got beard trimmers so now your beard will thank you your face will thank you we're gonna stick with beard your beard will thank you We are back. Today we're looking at edge player Will McDonald, the fourth from Iowa State Pass Rusher. If you want to see the full blown film session, go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Vosh Lombardi. We watch the film in full. Mind you, if I slip and call him Will Anderson throughout this film session, my bad. We we got two Wills in this draft class and they're both pass rushers. My bad. Now, Will McDonald is not a player that you can watch in passing, right? You 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 can't be lazy with his film evaluation. You know, some guys you could just watch a handful of times. You can go, okay, cool. I have a good idea of this player and what they bring. You have to account for the idea that Will McDonald is playing in this 3-3 stack and sometimes the coaching staff puts him in positions that that you know that's not very advantageous to his particular set of traits you take a look at him he's in b gap right now uh dealing with these guards you know and will mcdonald's not a guy that you want dealing with guards right if we if we take a look at this play he's lined up over the left guard here steve avila right up in there you know you're just dealing with one of the better guards one of the bigger guards you know steve avila three 30 320 something 25 maybe you know will mcdonald's probably going to be like 240 250 in this film right so so there's going to be a big disparity in size so i'm like man if the majority of us watched this film on will mcdonald and we thought hey that this is what he had to offer we wouldn't think that highly of will mcdonald however when they do this with will mcdonald when they do this here and they bump them over just a tad bit just to give them a little more room to navigate that's why this is important this is why d tackles aren't edge players this is why guards aren't tackles right guards and interior tackles they fight in this phone booth type of situation right you got to be powerful you got to be quick with your hands quick with your technique when you're a uh when you're a tackle on the offense or you're a standing pass rusher hand in the dirt pass rusher there's a little more room to navigate there so when they got will mcdonald doing this well ladies and gentlemen that's when things like this start to happen we come off the line of scrimmage with a little different type of burst we come off the line of scrimmage with a little more room to navigate we come off the line of scrimmage and we're able to set tackles up with our quickness will mcdonald's not allowed to be quick on the inside He's not allowed to be bendy on the inside. Oh, but damn it, when you stand him up and just bump him just a little bit to where he's not just at the outside shoulder of that towel, because sometimes they, they do that with him. But when you stand him up, you just bump him over just a little bit. Will McDonald really gets to flourish in these particular situations, right? Let's talk about this for a minute. Boom, 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 bam. This tackle is not in terrible position. Actually, I can even make the argument that with a couple of more steps, the inside will probably open up and Will McDonald could probably take that. One more step. Boom, boom. It's just quickly, the offensive tackle just ends up out of position. And if I just hit go one more time, we're going to turn this into a situation where the offensive tackle is leaning on me now and I get to manipulate his lean and turn it into a little bit of bend. How did this happen? 
right then you see the little yellow flag that just came from that referee right there so that is a holding penalty right so even if this offensive lineman drags will mcdonald to the ground will can just scrape that ground keep his balance keep that bend going and go and put hands on your quarterback chad we got a lot more hang tight now see, once again, when you line up in the interior, you line up at three tech, you line up at four eye, your hands have to fire quickly because the engagement happens quickly. Let's just run this play and we'll come back and talk about it. Will and, uh, McDonald's on the left side, I almost did it. Will McDonald's on the left side. Let's talk about what he did on this strip sack fumble that he did right here, this strip sack fumble. Hey, we see him standing up. We see him bumped over just a little bit. We're gonna give him some more room to navigate and hand fight. He's gonna come off the line of scrimmage, boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna get a little faint as if we're gonna stop and hand fight. You see him really over exaggerate to plant that left foot in the ground. We're planting that left foot in the ground to give the image that we're engaging with this right tackle, right? And when we give the image that we're engaging with this right tackle, the right tackle does what? He stops his feet. Then when he stops his feet from this position, Will McDonald continues to rip and bend. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't do that from 4i. You can't do this from B-gap. You only can do this when you got a little room to navigate. That's what Will Anderson's, McDonald, McDonald. That's what Will McDonald's so good at. Will McDonald here on the left side working versus the left tackle here. Now at this point, his hands in the dirt, he's a little closer to the tackle. I hate it right i hate it i don't think his coach is, is is giving him very much but shouts out to my bro koye media man he made this point yo vash i tend to like will mcdonald a little more because his coach did play him out of position and he was still able to thrive and like figure it out and that's a fantastic point that okoye made here right so you know he's a lot closer to the offensive tackle right a lot less room to navigate a lot less room to set up but one we're gonna give you this faint Right, we're gonna come off the uh, come off the ball here. Boom, boom, boom. Just a little bit of just a little bit of head shake, a little bit of hand fight, right? Just a little bit of fake, a little imagery that we're going to the outside to get you to work outside just a little bit, just to end up hand fighting with you, working towards the inside, right? And let me tell you what I like about Will McDonald once he got to the inside here. He not only ripped to free himself, well, he swam here, he swam here, but you're gonna see, boom, boom, swim, boom, a little dip right there, that little dip and rip down here. This is important because, yes, we wanna clear ourselves of the hands of this offensive lineman, right? So I'm gonna dip to get that offensive lineman's hands off of me, but bro, I'm gonna give you my back so you can't block me in the back. Brilliant. Now, 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 if, 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 if Will McDonald was a novice, right, he'll just run through this gap square and he would leave himself open to be punched in the ribs, to be hit in the side, to be pushed over. But I am going to dip, rip, and I'm going to give you my back. You can't block me in the back. Why? Because it's a damn penalty to block me in my back. So I get this free run taken the inside. And now your quarterback hits the dirt. Yeah, Chad, we're gonna watch a lot of Will McDonald, boy. We're gonna watch a lot of them. Oh, we got plenty. We got a lot of plays on Will McDonald. Take a look at him standing up over here. Boom, just hand fighting, taking the, and, and listen, I just wanna make this be known, right? These offensive tackles, they're not in terrible position. They're not in terrible position, right? I can even do this, watch this, right tackle. Good, good, good. All this is solid. But how fast will McDonald, I keep, I almost want to say Anderson, how fast will McDonald can get to your back hip? Look at how fast, boom, not terrible. The, those feet are kind of narrow, but boy, I'm just behind you. And then I rip, you see that little rip that's important right there? We always talk about this young pass rushers, whatever, whatever direction you're going, you want to find a way to deal with the hand of that side, right? So if you're going outside, you got to deal with the outside hand. If Will ignored this hand, then maybe this offensive lineman can create a base uh, with his with his outside hand and his and his and his kick foot. But no, we're just gonna <laughs> We're just gonna put a little pressure on your elbows, rip and bend past you, bro. And we're gonna get the fumble on the back end, man. Come on, man. How about this? Will McDonald lined up outside. He's standing. He bumps over a little bit. He has a little more room to navigate. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he sets up this offensive tackle. Of course he does. Of course he does because he can go speed to power. I wouldn't call him a flat out powerful guy. 
To be clear here, I wouldn't call him a flat out, just run you over powerful guy. But when you put these offensive linemen on their toes, once you show speed, once you show quickness, once you show bend, then now you have these offensive linemen traveling a little lighter on their feet now. So this right tackle is probably in the mindset of, okay, I need to giddy up, right? I need to giddy up because I need to go get hands on this character. But if you're giddy up, you know, if you're in giddy up mode, then your base may not be as powerful. And if Will McDonald can identify that, then he's gonna turn this rush from a speed rush into a power Power rushing he's going right down the middle of you great hands good pressure there here's another play anton harrison uh probably gonna be a first round pick in this draft maybe early second round guy he got so overwhelmed by the idea of this of this burst of this outside rush right like he got to this point in which he's safe this point in which he's safe but will mcdonald got to the back hip so fat chat i just want y'all to understand this just understand this man boom boom we're safe here boom we're safe here we not safe no more right here and that makes anton harrison have to overcompensate so instead of just continuing it, instead of continuing to kick in which he would be out of position he got to turn and if he turns his whole body will just kind of feels that momentum a little bit if you're going to turn like that buddy I, i'm just going to take the inside that you gave me for another fumble and we'll just run one more since we ain't doing nothing else he's on the left side dealing with that right tackle man hey, man, man, man listen bro listen i ain't got to do this all day with y'all man I do not have to do this all day with y'all, man. And sometimes, at, at some point, you gotta recognize greatness. Now, this kid's gonna get looked over. I'll keep changing the film out while we're doing this. At some point, this kid's gonna be looked over, right? Some people's gonna be lazy. They're gonna look at his film. They're gonna say he's not a very big player. He's a very solid, uh, solid run game guy, also, man. But like, man, you just if you look at the at the at the one bend trait, right? Ball get off, bend, explosion. You look at those traits, man. You think if you think about any other player with those traits that excel in those traits you go hey that that dude's a first round pick and he should be a high pick if he has those traits explosion bendy length look at those arms man hold on man let me let me let me just rewind this look at these arms man so you think about a player that has all these traits at some point you have to go where do you draft this guy and when i look at mox for will mcdonald i always see him in the 30s i see him in the 40s i'd be damned i think we legitimately need to have a conversation about will mcdonald being a first round player into the first round guy and uh hey, hey you won't you won't get any any fight out of me if this dude ends up on my team now this is a film session for everybody but if he ends up on my team then uh you know i i feel like i have a a very bendy explodey pass rush you do at the end of the first round and i think i may have gotten a steal because i don't think i don't think teams are gonna draft correctly with will mcdonald teams suck at drafting by the way uh i don't think they're gonna draft will mcdonald correctly i think he'll be underdrafted but whoever ends up pulling the trigger on him uh they they will definitely uh get a chance to reap the benefits of uh getting a bendy underrated dude so hey there's my story i like me some will mcdonald uh y'all go watch uh my film on patreon the full-blown film session of will mcdonald on patreon patreon.com slash vice lombardi you follow me on all social medias v-o-c-h-l-o-m-b-a-r-d-i and i will catch y'all on the in the film room next time man peace